So if you're watching this video, you're probably trying to decide whether or not you should spend $200 plus on a pair of heritage style boots versus $100 on a pair of designer boots. Today, I'm going to go over some of the key differences between the two to help you make the decision of where you want to put your money. Okay, so first up we have the Jibs Boot by Guess. It has a leather suede upper, a synthetic rubber sole, and I've paired it here, as you can see, with a pair of light wash denim jeans that I think just goes really, really good with the overall aesthetic of a Chelsea boot. The MSRP of this boot was 150 bucks, but you can find it pretty much anywhere for about 100 Next up is the Red Wing 4325 Mock Toe in a rough and tough leather and rough suede upper with a natural rubber outsole. I've styled these with a pair of raw denim selvage jeans that, in my opinion, go really good with the work boot aesthetic. MSRP was $280, bucks, and if you can find them now, they're well over $300. So you're probably thinking, hey, those are both pretty nice looking pairs of boots. So why is there such a huge disparity in the cost? Most of it's going to come down to the construction. So starting off the comparison, we want to take a look at the sole. So again, the guest boot has a synthetic rubber sole. And as you can see, it looks like it is stitched to the upper, but in actuality, it is cemented to the shoe. Now we look at the Red Wing. This one actually has what's called a storm welt or a Norwegian welt, which means it's stacked layers of leather sewn to the upper of the boot itself. Uh, next, you look at the stitching. You can see it uses a lot thicker threads than the threads on the guest boot does. Next, looking at the thickness and quality of the leather, you can see that the leather on the Red Wing boot is a lot thicker. And you can also see that it has a full leather footbed. Now the guest boot leather is a lot thinner. Granted it's suede, but still can be pretty thick. And then it has, has a regular foam insole. Uh, looking at the toe box of the shoe, you can see it's a lot stiffer, a lot more dense leather. And that's just going to hold its shape better over time where this one's kind of hard to see, but it's much more flexible and it's going to be prone to breaking down over time. Also, uh, you want to take a look at the heel cup, which is really going to dictate a lot how the boot fits. And again, it's just a lot thicker, a lot more well reinforced, so it's going to hold up a lot better over time. All right, so let's talk a little bit more in depth about some of those features. So the Red Wing, like I said, has this Norwegian weld. And what that essentially means is that it's impossible for water to get in between the sole of the boot and to the interior. So your foot is gonna stay nice and dry. The other advantage of using a storm welt or a Goodyear welt, which is another type of soling technique, is that the boot can be resold pretty easily. If you wear down the sole of this boot, which will probably happen with this natural rubber sole, uh, you can get a new sole put on and the boot's pretty much good as new. With a cemented sole like the one on the guest boot, once that sole wears out, it's pretty much done. You gotta get a new pair of boots. This natural rubber sole is also going to be a lot more comfortable in your foot from a day-to-day -day basis. Um, synthetic rubber soles tend to be extremely hard. Uh, while they do hold up really, really well to heat and uh, external chemicals and uh, different types of things that might break a rubber sole down a little bit faster. Synthetic rubber soles are a lot more prone to cracking. So if you apply a weird pressure, take a weird step off of something, or flex your foot in the wrong type of way, those soles can and do crack, whereas a natural rubber sole is going to be a lot less prone to that. Now speaking to the quality of the leather, uh, Red Wing uses leather from the SP Foot Tanning Company. They're an independent company that's been around for a long time. And basically, they just produce some of the highest quality leathers that you can possibly buy. The leather in the guest boot, it says it's leather and it feels like leather, but there's no telling where it came from, uh, what quality or what grain it is. To be honest with you, it's so thin, it really feels uh, like it's you know, gonna break down a lot faster than this thick, heavy leather on this Red Wing boot. That leather footbed that I told you about, that means that as you wear this Red Wing boot, 
it's actually going to mold to the contours of your feet and it's going to become extremely comfortable to wear. That being said, straight out of the box, the guest boot is going to be a lot more comfortable because it has that foam insole. It's just never going to be as customized or as comfortable a fit as you can possibly get with the Red Wing boot. Guest boots are going to be mass produced. There's just a little bit less handmade, uh, that artisan feel to them. Um, you buy a pair of Red Wing boots or you would even just hold a pair of Red Wing boots in your hands, you can feel the quality, you can feel the workmanship and craftsmanship that's been put into it. Commercially produced designer boot like the Guess One is gonna feel just like that. It's going to feel like it has been mass produced. So does that mean you should go out right now and shell out 300 bucks for a pair of Red Wing boots? Maybe, maybe not. You at least go it to yourself to go to a Red Wing store, try some on, hold them in your hands, feel the quality, feel the craftsmanship, and see if it's worth it to you or not. Again, this is by no means a slight on designer boots. I own that pair. I own other pairs of designer boots too. For my money, I would rather put it into a boot like a Red Wing that I know it's gonna last me five, 10 years. In fact, I've got a pair that I've had since 2006 that I still wear almost on a daily basis. They're pretty much my go-to shoes and they have held up remarkably well. Actually, they look a lot better as they age and that leather takes on the characteristics of the wear and uh, the abuse that I've put them through. I just think they look more and more beautiful every time I wear them. And I can't really say the same about some of my other pairs of boots. Um, you know, the guest pair of boots, they're, I'm almost scared to wear them outside because I know that that leather and that suede is going to break down quickly. And again, for me, for my money, I just think that having something that is crafted here in the U.S. of some of the highest quality materials that you can find with the workmanship and the craftsmanship that's put into it, it's just a better investment. It's a better way to spend $300 than buying three pairs of designer boots. In my opinion, this is a value proposition that everybody's got to make for themselves and it's going to be different for everybody. But again, you at least owe it to yourself. If you're in the market for a pair of boots, go to your local Red Wing store and check a pair of them out and just see, maybe they have something there for you. Maybe you find what you're looking for in a pair of boots that you haven't found elsewhere. And if not, then you can feel comfortable knowing that that $100 pair of boots that you choose to buy instead is going to be the ones that you want for sure. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram at hero underscore heritage. Thanks. Bye.